Number one, steps into learning to love yourself is fall in love with yourself, date yourself, take yourself out, spend time with yourself, sit down and see what yourself wants. I sit down and often ask Nadia what she wants and sometimes she tells me, sometimes she don't. But no, like spend time with yourself, learn what you like, what you don't like, stand in the mirror and those flaws that you pick at yourself about, learn to love and appreciate them. I know I am clumsy and I am loud. And when I am clumsy, it is like, my mama called me like a bull in a china shop. And there are times I'm like, good job, good job, Nadia, great. Nice going. Not to berate myself, but to literally say, it's okay, Nadia. It's all right, girl. Just slow down, as my mother said. Slow down down and when I'm loud I just have to just know that I'm loud um those things that those flaws that you pick at those things that make you self-conscious those are what make you you no one is perfect everyone is different don't try to be like everyone else who wants to be like everyone else being like everybody else being normal is so boring trust me do I look like a normal person can a normal person look like this I'm just saying but no, seriously, those things that you pick at and flaws and the things that people talk about you about, that's what makes you you. That's what makes you special. People have taken their imperfection and flaws and made a life out of them. They have went and created stuff and, and um, designed stuff and built companies and empires around these imperfection and flaws that people used to talk to them about. So it is okay to have flaws and be imperfect. It's how you use those flaws and you go and you ingrain them and you make them part of you. Make them your quirk. Make them part of your personality. Me being loud, that's part of who I am. Get used to it. I wish I wasn't so loud sometimes, but hey, I've been loud all my life. Might as well just keep going. Make some money off of it. Hey. Number two, I want you to eliminate self-criticism. Remember I talked about stop talking and nitpicking at your flaws and your imperfections. I want you to turn those around and make them positive affirmations to yourself. Telling yourself that it is okay that you have this and you have that and you do that, you do that. Because that's what makes you you. That's what makes you different. I want you to positive thinking. Positivity thinking. When you start thinking about how you're this and you're not that and you can't do this, can't do that, turn that around and think about the things that you can do. Think about the things you do have. Stop thinking about what you can't have, what you what you look like or what you don't look like or what you have and what you what you don't have, what you can't do and what you don't have. Start thinking about the things of how you look. What do you have? What can you do? I know for me this is kind of difficult because sometimes I do get stuck in my own head and say, man, I can't buy this. Oh, man, I can't do this. I can't take this trip with my friends because I don't have the money for this. I don't have money for that. But I need to stop and think about what I do have. I have a loving, caring family. I have a supportive, encouraging friends. I have to stop and relax and positive thinking yeah i can't do this or do that but look what i can create look what i can make um i'm talented i'm passionate i'm just sit there and focus on all the good things about yourself and i promise you you will learn to appreciate and love yourself more because you're able to see all the things that you do have and all the things that you are capable of and so it's important to encourage yourself to be your own personal cheerleader to push yourself on so that you're able to go forth and do wonderful things Number three, I want you to be honest with yourself. I want you to be truthful and honest with yourself as much as you can. I want you to stand in front of that mirror and tell yourself, yeah, I'm fat, so, and what? But I'm cute, I have a pretty smile, I have beautiful eyes, I'm funny, I'm talented, I'm smart, I'm loving, I'm compassionate. I want, you to, I want you to be honest with yourself, okay? Like I said, I'm big, yes, I know, I'm terrible. With money, I need to get it together. I don't think it's my problem. I just think it's a world problem. And it's affected me so much. Now it became my problem. But I'm honest with myself about it. I'm loud. I'm very, very loud. I get, I, my, my voice rise for no reason when I'm excited, when I'm upset, when I'm emotional. It happens. But that's okay. Because I made that part of my personality. I'm loud. 
and I'm talkative. I talk a lot, but guess what I'm doing? I'm sitting down making this talkative part of myself. I'm making it for you guys to help and encourage other people so that I'm just not sitting here talking to my friends and talking to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Encourage yourself. Find what motivates you and push it and make it something that you love and something that you can do. Like I said, acknowledge that you are imperfect, that you have flaws. And I promise you, those things in the future are not going to matter. When you learn to love yourself and you go beyond what you don't have and what you do look like and what you can't stand or whatever, when you get to the place where you love yourself unconditionally, I'm pulling those flaws and imperfection are it's just it's gonna, pennies. Pennies compared to the gold that your future holds. I promise you. Number four, surrounding yourself with positivity. I want you to surround yourself with positive friends. I want you to hang around family members that don't always come at your head. No, but surround yourself with positivity, whether it's something that, whether it's um, a daily mantra, self-affirmations. You know, like Mary Jane from uh, Be A Mary Jane, she has the quotes on, sorry, the post-it notes quotes all over her mirror and her window in her house and her room. Um, just positive affirmations that she sees daily. My friend Juan also has the same thing in her mirror in her bathroom. Just positive affirmations that she see every day and she can take and read or you give yourself a mantra a daily mantra that you say to yourself in the mirror several times a day i have the same thing i i also started this recently just doing a daily mantra while i say it into the mirror every night before i go to bed i say it while i'm washing my face and doing my skincare putting on my moisturizer my oil and moisturizer and i say this to myself before i go to bed not because i do it late at night but so that the next one when i wake up it's on my mind to live that day doing what i promised i was i promised myself i was gonna do and i think that's very helpful i've only been doing it for about a week but however i am not letting certain situations to affect me the way they used to before Another way to surround yourself with positivity is to read or watch something, whether it's reading a book, reading through blog posts or Instagram posts, something that respire, inspire you. How I told you I follow certain Instagrammers and bloggers and the plus size stylists or artists or fashion designers. I watched, I follow them for the pure inspiration. Not to be all up in their business and their lives, but the pure inspiration is they travel and they create and they do shoots and they do things and I'm just sitting there like, I can't wait till I get there. I can't wait till I'm able to do this. I can't wait till I'm able to do that. Oh, that's actually a good outfit idea. Oh, I like that as a blog post. I'm going to try to see if I can make that to like a video or something like that. You know, just, just pure inspiration. You're feeding your soul with goodness. And when you feed your soul and your mind and your eyes and your heart with goodness, you're able to think and, 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 and wait, you're able to think and consciously remember the positive things, the good things in life. Number five, taking care of your body. Taking care of your body is the most important things of all the things I'm going to tell you today about loving yourself, about self-love, loving yourself fully. When you take care of your vessel, your temple, it is a reflection of the outside world that you care about yourself. When you walk out the house looking like you're looking, your hair ain't combed, your clothes barely clean, they barely fit, you your nails looking raggly. You're telling the world that you don't care. You're literally telling the world that you literally don't care. And I'm not talking about if you got to run out real quick to grab something. Your kid acted up at school. You got to go run up and snatch them up. I'm not talking about nothing. I'm talking about you literally leave the house every day looking like you're looking. I'm sorry. As a big girl, it's always been programmed to my mind, especially after college. I can't leave the house looking like I'm looking. That don't mean I got to put on my makeup, wrap, and put on makeup and all type of stuff and be slay every day. But I'm not going to leave the house in some sweatpants that got holes and stuff on it that barely fit on my ass without a proper bra on, without my hair either done or wrapped up or underneath a beanie. I'm not going to send me in a headscarf that ain't this kind of fabric head scarf and you're not gonna see me with a bun on my head you know what i'm saying you just you care about yourself that is a reflection another way of to take care of care about yourself is eat clean and fresh and eating well stop eating fried greasy food i'm not saying every big girl eats like this because i don't know why you like that but when you eating clean fresh food fresh ingredients not only does that give you energy and give you boost it also cleans out your body cleans out your system it makes your skin clear and grow as well as drinking lots and lots of water okay it cleans out your water cleans out your bladder 
so that you, you urinate clean, clear urine, and it eliminates odor smells, as well as eating fruits and vegetables. It also helps with, you know, down there, so you're fresh in the streets. So when it's extreme, okay, my camera cut off. I don't know what part I left off on, but... Um, it talks about seeing the beauty and the positivity and the beauty and everything, appreciate everything around you. I'm not saying that you have to walk around in a cartoon filled world because like I said, I live in the hood. Uh, my neighbors are loud and ghetto as fuck. And when it gets warm around here again, there will be fights and shooting. I plan to be out here, but out of here by then. But I'm just saying, don't walk around in a cloud cartoon filled world in a haze of, oh, everything is nice and lovely. No, there are things happening in the world. There are things that need to be dressed. There are things that need to be done. But you don't let that affect your everyday life where that's all you think about and it affects how you feel and affects what you do because it's going to go back into that same cycle of low self-esteem and lack of confidence and self-love. Again, I talked about taking care of yourself. The relationship you have with yourself is the most supposed to, most important relationship you will ever have. I promise you that. All right, guys. Number seven. Last one. I promise. Number seven. I've been talking a lot. Number seven, um, I want you to encourage yourself and pursue your dreams. Whatever you love to do, whatever you are doing, whatever makes you happy, do that. Encourage yourself. F fill yourself up with all the things that make you happy and that you love. And over. Encourage yourself. Go after those things that make you happy. Go out the things that make you happy. Do things that, that you love. Is it is it binge watching Netflix? Is it binge watching Netflix? Is it reading books? Is it shopping? Unless you have a problem. You know, we ain't trying to break the bank. Is it shopping? Is it hanging out with friends? Is it going to the movies, going to museums, going to parties? Whatever makes you happy, continue to do that in a positive way. In, um, encouraging way things to just you know encourage yourself make you happy I already spoke about this but the most important thing that I'm gonna leave you with is to have fun have fun it's your life you want to get one life so live it well I promise you guys with so many steps and so many things I said about hopefully I wasn't all over the place and when I edit I can narrow things down that the journey to loving yourself fully it's not going to be an easy one, but I promise you, if you sit down and think about who you are and what you want and why you and what you like about yourself and you sit down and you try and you focus and you remember these steps and other things I have said to you in the past, I promise you, you will get there. Like I said, it won't be easy, but eventually you will get there if you are consistent and you're determined and you're passionate because I don't know if anyone told you today you are beautiful and you are worthy of love and don't ever let nobody else tell you that don't ever let nobody else tell you that you're not beautiful and that you're unworthy of love no one wanna I hate when guys or people say I one of my friends had the situation not so long ago ain't nobody gonna ever love you like I love you ain't nobody gonna ever treat you how I treat you I hope not bruh keep it moving Keep it moving. That's another conversation. That's another video about relationships and topics. But I just wanted to sit here and begin the month of February off with the bang, talking about self love, one of my favorite topics because I know I mention it a lot. I know I in every video we're saying love yourself fully, but I want to sit down and tell you guys, like I said, the importance and significance of it and how to begin your journey of loving yourself fully. I promise you guys, you guys, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there together. If you guys have any questions or comments or any suggestions for further videos or any questions on how you should do certain things or what to look for or um, as far as what do I, how, where do I seek my inspiration or, you know, anything, please leave that in the comment section below. You guys can follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, and Snapchat all at Full Style Inc. I would love to hear from you guys. I would love to see you guys. I'm more active on Instagram as well as um I'm more active on Instagram and Snapchat. I am trying to be more active on Twitter. I'm trying. Be patient with me, guys. I made that a goal this year to be more active on Twitter. Uh, um, one more thing. I'm thinking of starting a Patreon page because your girl is struggling and she needs help. 
so if i was to start a patreon page would you guys be interested in that and what was what is some of the exclusive content you would like to see on patreon like more behind the scenes like actually me going to like fabric stores and the concept of starting a diy or the lookbook or would you like to just see a different DIY or a different lookbook altogether versus the ones I put on my regular on my YouTube channel. So you guys let me know in that in the comment section below. Once again, this video is going to be long, so I do apologize for that. And I just wanted to let you guys know that I love you. You are beautiful, but most importantly, love yourself fully. Until next time. Woo!